everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is a design that I created on my nails this week. I filed off my previous design and shortened my nails um, so I already had tips on there so I shortened those down and I've put them into more of a um, tapered square shape. So I have already got a very very thin layer of acrylic on this nail, I don't know if you can see it here but it is there. So I am using a purple acrylic powder here, just pop that at the bottom of my nail and I just um, fade that up the nail to the middle. Then I have this glitter mix, now this is just um, a few different glitters, a couple of different glitters like a green couple of different coloured greens that I have mixed together so I've created it my own mix basically. I just pop that down my nail and I'm just fading that down so I'm doing my favourite ombre style here. I do it in smaller beads just because I feel that I can be a bit more precise with my work if I do that. I have already prepped my cuticles by the way guys and push, so pushed them back and prepped them and obviously because I've already got a very very thin layer of clear acrylic powder, liquid and powder down then um, I don't need to prep the nail because it is already prepped. So I'm just going in encapsulating that nail with clear acrylic liquid and powder. I'm using a smaller brush, the brush size that I'm using is a size 8 just because again I feel I can be a bit more precise with my work here. It has been a long time since I've done acrylic. I've mainly been doing flexi press tips just recently. So I'm working on my acrylics at the moment. So on my forefinger, I have this colour here. It's like a, um, a lovely minty green. I'm just popping that at the top of the nail um, and then at the bottom of my nail or at the tip. I'm just going in again with my mix that I've got here. I've also, I don't know if you can tell with this mix, so I've got a couple of different greens. I've got like a lime green and um, uh, like a deeper green. And I've got a little tiny bit of the purple acrylic powder in that mix as well. Just gives it a little bit of a hint of purple there. My two favourite colours. Absolutely love purple and green mixed together. It just or blended together or added together, I just love them. They are my favourite colours of all time. So with my middle finger I'm just going in with the purple here, just pop that at the base or the bottom, sorry, the tip of my nail. Just pop that down there and fade it up to the middle of my nail again. And then I'm going in with my green here, my mint green, and I just pop that down on the nail and then I just um, create my ombre look. I do a little bit of 3D work on this nail, so um, I just do this and leave it plain. And then I go in with my clear acrylic liquid and powder and I encapsulate that nail. I really like just using smaller beads here. So guys, if you can hear any <laughs> snorting or snoring or anything like that, I'm babysitting my sister's pugs at the moment. And as much as I love them, they make a bit of a row. So when I'm doing my voiceover, if you can hear them in the background, I do apologise in advance. They're very noisy. So, but we love them. So just going in and encapsulating that nail so um, yeah just pop that down there I just love these two colours together I have to say um, I know I've already said it but I really do love the green and the purple together they are definitely by far my signature colours that and a little bit of pink thrown into the mix so yeah I love them to bits so um, while I'm here guys if you've got any ideas of any designs that you'd like me to create then I'd love to hear your thoughts just let me know. So with this one here I'm just popping down my mix that I've created just pop that down the nail uh, just cover the entire nail with this glitter because I really quite like it. It's an unusual mix. I just got I got a little bit of chunky glitter in there and um, I think I've got some green diamonds in there I don't know if you can see it there so um, diamond shaped sequins 
really nice really cute colour I think they go really well especially because I've tied it all together with a little bit of that purple powder so then I just go in and encapsulate that nail with my clear acrylic liquid and powder and again I do a little bit of 3D work on this nail so um, I'll show you how I do that in a moment so on this video I focus on my one hand because um, on my other hand I decided to go with different colours, different style, um, different design sorry so next week's video will be of my right hand so be sure to tune in for that one so I'm just popping down, I've popped down another layer of um, clear acrylic liquid and powder on this nail because I didn't have any already laid down and the reason why I did this is because the purple here is so highly pigmented there is always a chance that it could stain your nail so always make sure that I pop down a little layer of a clear acrylic liquid and powder so with my little finger I just literally just cover the nail in the purple because I do feel that it is so beautiful it needs to be appreciated in its fullest glory love it I'm just building up the nail here because I popped the acrylic on a bit thin so as you can see I'm just putting a little bit more there for my apex um, and then when I add the clear acrylic liquid and powder to encapsulate that nail then I will build it up a little bit more just to make sure that my nail doesn't break and snap my little natural nail underneath because that is the worst feeling in the whole world I don't know if you've ever experienced it but it is evil, evil pain I think most people have experienced that so um, yeah just finishing off the acrylic here just encapsulating that nail and then with my e-file and this cuticle bit well no this bit sorry this drill bit I'm just going around my cuticles here just to make sure obviously that it is really flush with the cuticle because the last thing we need right now is lifting on those nails so just make sure that it's lovely and neat and clean so I do this with my e-file and then I go in with my hand file my little boomerang hand file and I just file off any lumps and bumps just to make sure that my nails are beautiful and smooth ready for application of my top coat so I decided to do some 3D nail art on these nails because I haven't done any 3D work for a really long time I've mainly been focusing on nail art using gel um, uh, yeah, gel brushes and gel colours and things like that and glitters so my nail art on these nails is going to be 3D so I use on my ring finger I go in with both those powders that I've been using on the whole nail so I've got the purple and the greeny blue and I've got a very very little um, 3D acrylic brush so I just pop a bead down and let it settle um, if it's too dry then I add a little bit more liquid to it I do faff around with this for a long time because it has been so long since I did 3D flowers or 3D leaves or 3D petals anything like that it's been ages so um, yeah it took me forever to get these done thankfully I was able to shorten the video because otherwise you really 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 would have got bored with it so yeah I just do these um, petals and I use both the colours together so it looks like a little bit of an ombre look with those petals just drag it down there keep wiping my brush to make sure I don't have any excess liquid and just pat out those petals make sure they look really pretty and so underneath I just use the purple on these ones and um, by this point I was getting the hang of it again <laughs> it's been so long sometimes it just takes a while to come back to your memory and uh, yeah so just pop that leaf down pat it out and then on the bottom I go with the green you've just really got to get the um, the liquid to powder ratio just right for these but if it's too watery again just dab the brush on the paper towel just to get rid of any excess liquid so there we have it 
certain things just uh, come back to you just when you start doing them. So yeah, my memory started coming back on how I created my 3D nail art. Like I said, it's been a long time. Too long, I think. And then I pop down one more little bead. Just let that sit there for a minute. Let it settle. If you can hear snoring, it's the dogs. Do apologise. <laughs> Just pat that out. Kind of looked a bit like um, dragon scales to me this did. Rather than flowers, flower petals. But anyway, I really liked it. So then on my middle finger, I didn't stop there. I used jewellery gel. And then I applied a little stone there. And then I applied some other little crystals or rhinestones around that that big one in the middle. Just add in a little bit more with my gel brush just to extend that design out. So the rhinestones that I got are like a blue. You can't really, the camera doesn't pick them up very well, but they're sort of iridescent blue. They're really lovely and they fit really, really well with my design. So now I'm just going in with my non-wipe UV gel top coat and I must say it really is my most favourite part of the video because everything just comes together and the gloss just really makes those nails shine and it makes the colours really pop. So here on the middle finger because I've got 3D work, I've got rhinestones, I don't want the top coat going over those rhinestones because it sort of takes away the shine. So I just pop down pop it down with a normal brush and then I've got a very very fine detail brush that I use to apply top coat in between those crystals there as you can see just to make sure that they are firmly in place there's no movement there and then top coat over this some people leave the 3D um, acrylic without top coat because they prefer it that way I really like it to be glossy it just makes me I just yeah I just prefer it so thanks for watching guys, uh, if you enjoyed it please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok. So I shall see you in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.